love it like that. What is going on, everybody? My name is Robert. Welcome back to Guitar Control. Don't you know, baby? So how are you guys doing today? We are rocking and rolling here, acoustic style, of course. And we're talking about all the different ways you can play a scale. Now, there's even more than what I'm going to list, but I'm going to show you guys five different ways to play a G major scale. So if you want tabs for everything I'm about to show you, that is down below, chilling, and uh, let's just go. All right, so way number one that I'm going to show you is what I'm going to refer to as the open position. We're using some open strings to get the, the G major scale. There we go. I'm like, what key am I in? G. So uh, here we go. So basically, it, it goes like this. I'll play it once and I'll break it down. Okay. So here's what we have going on. So it's going to be third fret on the low E string. Now on the A string, it's open two three. Then you go to the D, open two four. Then you go to the G, which is open two. Okay, so. Now, you're gonna go to the B string here. I know that one's kinda of tricky because it only has two notes on it. It's so we don't have a double note. Those two notes are the same. Now, on the B string, it's open one, three. And the high string is open two, three. And there you have it, so. Okay, then descend. Boom. Now I'm alternate picking all that one, and actually that's our first way that we're gonna play this scale. Really good way if you're kind of doing that country. Uh, that kind of thing, you can get a lot of those cool little country licks out of there. But um, that's for another day. Way number two. So we're still gonna be starting on the root note. It's still the same notes, but the shape is very different from how we're gonna play it. We're gonna start right here. It's gonna look like this. So where are we at? We are starting at third fret now, but uh, you wanna lead with your middle finger. So you're gonna go three to five on the low E. Now on the A string, you're gonna go two, three, five. You're going to go to the D, which is 2, 4, 5. The G, which is 2, 4, 5. The B, which is going to be 3, 5. And then the high E string, which is 2, 3, 5. Okay, so. Keeping with that theme of uh, one string that only has two notes on it. There you go, and on that real nice bad chord that I did. <laughs> okay, now way number three is actually the way that I originally learned how to play the G major scale, which was a three note per string version, which goes like this. Now, um, I like this way the best actually, because it's all even, three notes on each string, it's very convenient. Um, I like the way it orders the notes out. It's just, it's my favorite way of doing the scale. But we're gonna go three, five, seven on the low E and the A, so. Now you're going to shift down to the D string, and you're going to do 4, 5, 7 on the D and the G. Next, you're going to go to the B string, and you're going to go 5, 7, 8 on the B to the high E. Well, in good golly, Miss Molly, you're done. So, now again, descend this one. You're probably wondering, why do I want to learn how to play all these? Well, you want to learn how to play your scales in as many ways as you possibly can. That way you'll be very, very comfortable wherever you are on the fingerboard. You don't want to just learn something in one spot. All right, so next I thought we would play our G major scale on one string. So it's gonna be going like this. So we're starting right here again on the G note. I'm, I'm making sure I'm referencing all of these and starting on the actual root note. So I'm gonna go three, five, seven on the low E. Now I shift up and I go five, seven, eight on the high, I'm, uh, I said low E, I meant high E, sorry. Now I'm gonna to go to the next part, which is five, seven, eight on the high E string. Shifting up again, seven, eight, 10. Then I'm gonna go eight, 10, 12. 10, 12, 14. And then 12, 14, 15. And then uh, we'll end it there, that way we're ending on a root, root note again, sorry. So. And 
there you have it. And that's another way that you can play that. Uh, you know, w working on one string is nice because you can kind of connect it with your other ways. And I've always treated uh, single string ideas as basically like a little like highway to kind of navigate through some stuff. All right, and the final way I want to show you how to play this is just simply like moving your scale to another part of the neck and starting on the root note somewhere different. You know, so I'm going to move all the way up here and start on my G note. On acoustic, you're pretty high up here, but it's nice to have these different areas to, sim uh, to play around in. So I'm going to go like this. So I'm starting here on the A string instead of the low E string, but I'm going to go 10, 12, 14 on the A string. Sorry. 10, 12, 14 on the D. 11, 12, 14 on the G. 12, 13, 15 on the B. And then 12, 14, 15 on the high E string. Okay, so. Okay. That's just another way that you can play that scale. Like I said, the more ways you can, and there's, I mean, there's so many more ways than what I even listed. I just stuck to starting on your root note each time, but just have fun with it. And the more you know, the more it kind of frees up your ability to just kind of like play a chord and be like, all right, what I want to play over this. It's really, really fun. All right, that is it. Whew, it wasn't too bad, now was it? So I will see you all next time. Make sure you grab those tabs down below. And uh, yo, just have a good rest of the day. Later.